Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a nice warm welcome for Glenn? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I just hope that this is uh, recording okay, because sometimes uh, that there was one time last year I recorded it and it was on picture, you know, in, in sort of uh, on video. So, so um, in case of you, uh, you haven't seen me before, I, I do stand-up comedy and impressions. Yeah. So, first of all, a couple of jokes for you. Three football uh, supporters. Right, one of them is from, you know, a Hartlepool fan, Liverpool fan, and an Arsenal fan. And they're walking along, and they've been walking around ages, and they come across this uh, carcass. And they're really hungry, they haven't eaten uh, for a few days. And uh, the Hartlepool uh, fan says, uh, since I support Hartlepool, Hartlepool, I shall um, eat the heart. And the Liverpool fan says, yes, um, since I support Liverpool, I'll eat the liver. So this is the Arsenal fan. It's all yours, he says, and now I found some wrong way. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Snow White, um, her, her house was on fire and uh, she comes home and the uh, place is absolutely gutted. She says, oh no, what's happened to the seven dwarfs? All of a sudden she hears a voice saying, uh, Israel for the World Cup. She says, well, at least Dopey survived. So, uh, that's a couple of new ones for you. And uh, I tell you what though, um, I remember when I was working uh, at the charity shop uh, one time, I had uh, this, this guy who came with a little kid down um, with him in his chair. And I said to him, I said, no, wait, mate, I said, it's really nice to see that uh, well behaved kid in here. I said, look at him smiling away at everybody. And he looks at me and says, well, he's smiling, he's smiling at people, kid looks up at him, but he, 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 and he, he says, uh, he says, yeah, he is, isn't he? And I says, uh, yeah, I said, well, usually we have some kids coming in here, uh, screaming and wailing. And I said, well, let's give up what's in here wailing. I said, he threw a harpoon. <laughs> so, yeah. Could be worse. Could have been... Uh, could have been seeing two seals and thinking, let's go clubbing. Well, there you go, that's a very sick one, isn't it? <laughs> so, right, and uh, tonight's performance, uh, I've got a skit for you this week. That was about a mashup bet between Star Wars and uh, the Scooby Gang. Uh, remember the Scooby Doo, Doo cartoons? Yeah? So, uh, here we go. The, um, and this is how it would look. So you got an uh, old Obi-Wan Kenobi with Yoda. Well, Master Yoda, there seems to be some teenagers on the Death Star. Indeed there is, Obi-Wan. Mm. Trouble they are looking for. Mm, trouble they will find. I and mean, then C-3PO goes, Oh my gosh! Uh, they're doomed! They're doomed! And then uh, they, they hear him, so he comes over. Just then, Darth Vader comes in. I find your lack of faith disturbing. What do you say, Emperor Palpatine? Well, Lord Vader, I'm here. And we're going to see these, uh, this group of teenagers called the Scooby Gang. Let's see what they've got to say. <laughs> Scooby! <laughs> what are we going to do now? I mean, we seem to be on this weird place. <laughs> I know. Right. Right. 
There it is. Rook. Pike guy. Let me at him, Uncle Scooby. Let me at him. Let me at him. Scuppy, this isn't time for your fun. And, and then uh, Velma uh, slides up to uh, Darth Vader, pulls his uh, helmet off. Oh, that sounds like an innuendo, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, he pulls the helmet off his head and he goes, she goes, well, let's find out who is behind the, the mask. Donald Trump, he, I would have got away with it if it had not been for you, the pesky kids of the Death Star. That's where I've been since I've been president. <laughs> so there you go, that's, uh, so that's a little bit of, uh, that's for once get over. But, um, a, a controversial impression now, because uh, some people don't like it, uh, but others do. And, do you remember last year BBC did a program called The Reckoning about Jimmy Savile? Yeah? Well, it's Jimmy Savile that I can do an impression of. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you were, as poor Daniels would say, you might like this, but not so hard. <laughs> so here we go. So imagine now that you're watching uh, Jim will fix it. <laughs> Sometime in the 80s, so here it is. Now then, now then, how's your bad listen? Uh, now then, I've got a letter here from a ten-year-old boy called, called uh, Keir Starmer. Dear Jim, uh, can you fix it for me to be the Prime Minister over my dead body? Uh, so there we go. And, uh, and of course, um, Joe, Joe Biden's been seen sniffing kids' hairs, uh, you know, the hair, going up to him and going, hasn't it, yeah? It would be ideal. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I, I, oh, well, all right. Well, here I am, uh, just, uh, I don't know, head and shoulders. I didn't know you had done rough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's another controversial joke, isn't it? You know, well, that, that's because he is a bit creepy. I mean, uh, Donald Trump is, is right about calling him Creepy Joe. So, uh, yeah, and of, of course, um, does anybody have any uh, impressions they'd like me to do tonight? Because I'm, I've got a. Uh, Because, uh, yeah? Rolf Harris! <laughs> Can you tell what it is yet? I don't know, but uh, there you go. I'll tell you what, though. Um, Gary Glitter. <laughs> Why do you want to be in his gang? <laughs> Right, and how's, how's about um, a, a, a new joke for you? I mean, there's rumours that Hamas have, have gone and bought uh, an inflatable version of the White House. Puts a brand new meaning to blowing up the White House, doesn't it, eh? So, there you go. It's a terrorist joke. Yeah, it's a terrorist joke. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, mind you, the good thing about suicide bombers, uh, they don't get a second chance, do they? <laughs> and uh, what kind of eyes do they have? Blue, one blue, is it that way? Blue, that way. Penguin bars have got cracking jokes. Penguin bars? Yeah, cracking jokes. Oh, no. They're, they're all snow based, though, aren't they? They are. That's it. Snow, snow base. Yeah. No, it's just the way I say it's snow. Right. 
So, um, right, and, and of course, um, do you remember Frank Spencer? Everybody loved Frank Spencer, didn't they? Back, back in the day. <laughs> and then a bit of travel. So, and of course, um, do you remember, um, do, do you remember Kenneth Williams? He, he used to go like this and he mm, used to talk like this and mm, every time he gave his eye, he spoke. Mm. So, uh, he, 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 he was a good uh, actor, he was, um, you know, a good comedy actor, he was a good comedian too. So, oh, and it's somebody's birthday, happy birthday. So, so uh, I'll just have a sip of my drink. So, uh, yeah, right. I've got um, some uh, jokes, mate. Some more jokes. Well, a few moments ago, we heard Dave singing uh, a song, didn't we? Well, did you know that um, uh, Bob Geldof? Bob Geldof didn't um, like Monday yesterday. And, uh, and of course, Elton John, he, he's uh, opened up a pub from Sunday to sat Saturday afternoon. He doesn't want any brawling, but it's Saturday night, so all right for fighting. So, and I'll tell you what, I'll be back next week. Good job.